happen. But um, the industry is guided by some regulations and laws and around our safety, the way we handle our materials and transport them. Um, since those incidents happened, um, our business and other players within the industry have been cooperating with government, have been cooperating with other institutions like Mincom to come up with um, ways within which we can safely do our business. And all of these are being championed by the Chamber of Mines. So AEL as an explosive business um, is coordinating very well with um, all the other institutions, uh, competitors, um, government officials and institutions to ensure that we are able to review the way we do our business and provide the media support to be able to Minerals Commission is responsible for regulating the mining industry. So if this incident has occurred in the mining industry, the board cannot sit back without visiting the site to see firsthand what has happened and also to commiserate with the chiefs and people of Apia. We also assured um, the people that we are going to work together with the ministry and government to ensure that the Apia Township is rebuilt as um, the Honorable Minister for Lands and Natural Resources indicated when he visited here with the Minister for Works and Housing. And the Minerals Commission, in view of our mandate of regulating the mining industry, we have contributed an amount of 2 million Ghana seeds to kickstart the reconstruction of Apieti Township. We know that it's not going to be an easy task. It's going to take some time. But if we receive contributions as quickly as possible, then it can fast track the process by awarding contracts to different construction companies who can work simultaneously so that the township is rebuilt within the shortest possible time. So I'll appeal to the mining companies and as well as to the general public that they have done so much for the community since this to last. But we continue to say that support us to rebuild the community. We also want to assure the public that as the regulator, anybody who is found culpable um, in the investigative reports that have been submitted to the minister, we are not going to shield anybody. We will make sure that they contribute, they pay, they are punished for whatever has occurred if they are culpable. So that all these um, punitive measures when put in place, um, if fine. Uh